All right, so we are dis are you ready? Okay, we're dissecting a sea star, and we're dissecting the sea star. We're going to look at all the internal organs. We start with the outside, which is going to be the central disc, and uh, a major portion of the digestive uh, area is going to be right here. Our system is going to be in this area. If we were to remove this particular section, part of our pyloric stomach right here is attached to the top, which is also attached to the pyloric cecum, which is all of this digestive cecum. Okay. If we were to pull back some of our digestive cecum, what we're going to see is this darker structure. And if you notice in each one of the arms, it is a consistent color. Uh, the gonads and the digestive cecum will run down here. So these are the gonads, and this is the digestive cecum. So we have the pyloric stomach uh, on top, and underneath the pyloric stomach, we actually have the cardiac stomach, which is going to be further in this area right here. Okay. This uh, next section we're going to talk about is the water vascular system, and this allows for the organism to transport nutrients as well as to move. So water is going to come in the madreporite, which is this uh, lighter colored region here. It enters through the madreporite, and it travels down this tube right here, which is called the stone canal. The stone canal then attaches to... Do you want another one? No, it's okay. The radial canal, or the ring canal, which is located down here. So it goes the madreporite through the stone canal to the ring canal. And the ring canal is just like it says, it's a ring that is in the central disc. The ring canal then attaches to the radial canal, which is going to run down each arm. Now, you can't see the radial canal because it's underneath the ambulacral ossicles, which are all these white structures. And the line in between is the ambulacral groove. So the ambulacral groove can be seen on two sides of the organism. We're going to flip it really quickly. And this would be an ambulacral groove here. You can also see on this side all of the tube feet. Okay. These are the spines and these are the also known as pedicellaria. This is where the mouth region is. So this side would be the oral region and the mouth located on closest to this side is going to be the cardiac stomach. I'm sorry, the stomach located closest to the mouth on this side is the cardiac stomach. So let's flip it back over again. Thank you. All right. Uh, if we go back to the water vascular system, just recapping, madreporite to stone canal, stone canal to ring canal, ring canal to radial canal. The radial canal has lateral canals, and remember that canal means like a waterway, and so it's going to exit out the sides here, and it attaches to all these red structures, and these red structures are known as ampullae, which are muscular sacs of the organism. Uh, these also aid in locomotion attached to the tube feet, so the organism can either move or attach onto some sort of prey and pry it open, such as a clam. This right here, these are dermal ossicles, and uh, these are organisms that have an endoskeleton, and so these are actually covered by a thin dermal layer. On the tip of each arm, there are photophores that allow for this organism to uh, orient itself based upon light, because photo means light. <coughs> what else do I need to tell you guys about? And actually that sums it up on everything that you guys need to know. Yeah.